Welcome to Storytime with Pastor Steve. On this Good Friday, we will be reading The Day Jesus Died, which is also an arch book. When Jesus was with us on earth long ago, he suffered and died in our place. The story is sad but important because it speaks to the whole human race. It happened according to God's holy plan. It was no mistake, not at all. Beginning one night when he knelt down to pray, obeying, he followed God's call. He said, O oh my Father, we're one, it is true. Please help my disciples to know that they should be one even after I die. Now, Father, I'm ready to go. Then after he rose, a crowd came and grabbed him. As Judas kissed our Lord's cheek, uh, they took him to trial in the city that night, but the priest couldn't get him to speak. They marched him to Pilate, who asked, Then shall I release a man, king of the Jews? The people said, No, you must give us Barabbas. Those priests told, us the, told the crowd to refuse. So Jesus was beaten and sentenced to die. The pain was all part of God's will. A crown made of thorns was pushed onto his head. He dragged a big cross up a hill. They nailed up his hands on that old rugged cross. His feet were both fastened there too. A few of his friends made their way to the hill, but what could these frightened ones do? Forgive them, Father, he cried out in pain. They truly do not understand. For how could they know he was dying to save? It was all in the Father's great plan. The soldiers all mocked him by kneeling and bowing. They spat and said, Hail, Jewish king. They picked up his shirt and then grabbed it to win it. Their hate was a terrible thing. Two robbers were crucified with him that day, and one said, If you are the Lord, just rescue yourself and then get us all down. He laughed with a loud mocking horde. The other said, What, don't you even fear God? We are guilty, but he is not so. He said to the Lord, Please remember me when... Up there to your great kingdom you go. Then Jesus said, Yes, you will be with me there, as darkness came over the sky. It lasted three hours while our sins fell upon him. The people could not explain why. Then Jesus cried out, My God, oh my God, why have you forsaken your son? They thought he had called out for help from Elijah and guessed that the prophet might come. I thirst, Jesus called, as his death drew much closer. He must now fulfill the last sign. Let's give him a drink, a man yelled while running. He lifted a sponge filled with wine. And now it is finished, our Lord cried with a gasp. Then Jesus drew in his last breath. My Father, my Spirit, I put into your hands. And he bowed his past, he passed into death. A soldier then pierced the Lord's side with a spear. He had to make sure he was dead. Then Joseph came up with his friend Nicodemus. They wrapped up his body and head. They laid his dead body down in a new tomb and rolled a big stone in the way. But death couldn't keep our Lord down in the grave. He rose again on the third day. He died to make sure that our sins are forgiven. Through faith I can have a new start. He rose from the dead to bring life so that I can serve him with all of my heart. We pray that God blesses you on this Good Friday, reminding us of his son's death and resurrection, and that he loves us so much that he would do whatever it takes to save us and spend eternity with us. May God bless you today.